Hey guys, this is Override. Um, I'm going to be redoing the video how to set up TXPID without an auxiliary knob. In my particular case, I'm using a Walcare Dimension Devo 6S running Deviation Firmware version 4.0.1. Uh, this should be pretty much a straight through guide for anyone running Deviation on any of the line of Walcare transmitters. As you can see, I don't have any auxiliary knobs or anything else so what I'm going to be doing is setting up this trim tab to give me the full throw of my gear channel which is the channel that I've got set up in CC3D as my accessory one channel. All right, For, for those of you that are using say an FR Sky Tyrannus with open source firmware uh, y'all should have the ability to do this without a doubt. Um, any of you using say a Spectrum uh, high-tech Futaba transmitter. I don't know if you'll have the ability to do this or not, but hopefully this can kind of help you try and figure it out um, if you have the ability to do this. So we're going to come down here to my radio. And we're going to go through this process. Alright, so like I said, for deviation users, this should be pretty much straight through. For anyone else, you'll kind of have to navigate your menus and see if you have the ability to do this or not. But you're going to go over to your mixer. You're going to go to your gear tab. Uh, make, you, make sure you have it set up. You know, your curve is one to one. Uh, your scale, you're going to change to zero. If you don't change this to zero, you will not get the full throw of this channel with your with your uh, trim tab. Once you get that done, click OK. And we're going to come over to our trims tab. I'm going to go ahead and just change aileron. I'm going to change this over to gear zero and I'm going to bump my trim step up to, oop, went too far, bump my trim step up to one. Alright, so once you get that set up, you can go back to your channel monitor and now as you can see I have the full throw of that channel on my trim slider, trim rocker switch, however you want to call it. Um, once you get this set up you are going to have to uh, go into your OpenPilot CC3D and you're going to have to redo your transmitter uh, setup wizard. I'll actually switch over to the ground control station right now and and kind of just go through that real quick. Uh, if this is your first time setting your transmitter up, if you set it up this way and then you do your initial um, transmitter setup wizard, you won't have to do anything different. Um, but this is basically just going to be for people who have already got their transmitter set up and they just need to change the ground control station to be able to recognize the full throw of the gear channel or whatever channel you're using for accessory um, to get the full throw with your trim tab. So I'm going to switch over to the ground control station. Alright guys, we're over here in the ground control station. Um, like I said, if you have already set up your multi-rotor and you've, and you've gone through the initial transmitter setup wizard. You don't have to go through the setup wizard all over again. You can if you want to. Um, but basically you can just come into your configurations tab, go to inputs, click start manual calibration. Now before you do this, you want to make sure that you have a battery pack plugged into your multi-rotor. Make sure your CC3D board's hooked up obviously. Make sure your transmitter is turned on and everything is as what it should be. Also make sure your props are pulled off just in case we don't want any accidents to happen. Alright, so you're going to click start manual calibration. It's going to change your arm settings to always disarmed. That's fine. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, then you're going to take your two sticks, roll them around in circles. And then once you've got that done, do your flight mode switch. Make sure that it's throwing correctly and then do your trim tab or whatever you have set up for your accessory switch. So in my case, trim tab. I'm going to go all the way to the left, all the way to the right, 
and back to center and once you do that it should recognize the full throw of that channel so as you can see I'm gonna go to the right I'm gonna go to the left and I have full throw of that accessory channel then the open pilot or my CC3D is now recognizing that once you get done with that you can double check make sure your throttle you know is getting full throw your pitch your roll your yaw uh, flight mode switch and if you want to double check your trim tab or your accessory and make sure that you're getting full throw on that you can if you're not you can just redo this process all over again but once you get done and you get to that point click stop manual calibration then you will have to go back to your arming settings tab and you'll have to um, choose whichever way you want to be able to arm your board once you've done that click save <clears throat> if you want to verify everything again you can go back over to your RC input tabs you can check all of your throws for your sticks and you can make sure that you're getting everything everything's in the right direction correct orientation everything else um, alright guys well I hope this helped and I hope the video was a little bit better quality whenever I get it uploaded uh, thanks